presentation about HTML5. Yes. Uh, why was it necessary to come up with HTML5? Um, we came up with HTML5 because HTML4 had a, a lot of problems. Okay. There, were, there were a lot of things that were unclear in HTML4, such as um, it was not clear how to parse documents. A lot of the things were ill-defined. It worked pretty well for authors because they just need to have some like little documentation they paste in the code. But for browser vendors, they need to get all the details right. Okay. And HTML4 didn't really cover all the details. Okay. Okay. And, and, and so the other thing is that HTML4 is about a decade old now. And in that time, uh, requirements for web pages started to change. Like, besides just having web pages and publishing the page for your dog, you also have web applications now, such as yeah. Gmail and Flickr. And, and, and therefore, we need to provide new controls, new constructs, and, and making sure that well, HTML5 keeps up with the, the features other platforms are uh, giving, such as Flash provides excellent support for video, and we, we actually want to have that in HTML as well. So okay. people can publish video in a more open way and can share it and it okay. becomes more accessible. And, yeah. what, 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 you also showed a lot of these features from well, video. Can you tell me what is really cool about now video in HTML5? Uh, the, the really nice thing is that video support, embedding video is no longer a really difficult thing. Like with oh. Flash, you have to, to import it in Flash and export it. Then you have to include this loads of tags, like you have object for IE and an embed. In HTML5, it's really simple. You have a video element, and it has a source attribute, and the source points to your video. And if you just want to keep it as that, it just works. OK. And, 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 and so this also means that um, uh, what I saw, you can add the links over the video, and you can, uh, you can click on. Uh, yeah, yeah. So the video just becomes a part of the page, just yeah. like the image element is now. Like you can you can do anything with it you want, basically. Nice. Yeah. Nice. It's, yeah it's what what cool. are are other cool features of HTML5? Uh, so so besides new elements such yeah. as video and audio, there's also a bunch of uh, APIs defined okay. to cater for web applications that that are quite interesting. For the developers, that's cool. Yeah, for developers. It? So so there is, for instance, there's a WebSocket API okay. which gives you bidirectional communication with the server, like it makes a persistent connection with the server and you can send messages and the server can send messages back. Okay. And so you can update the page with Twitter updates and all kinds of things that your friends might be sending or you have a, a chat a chat channel you implement using that feature. Okay, okay. And also a, a local storage, I heard you? Uh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah that's, so another big thing in HTML5 is to try to address offline web applications. Yeah. And for offline applications, you, you need to have a bunch of things. Like you need, if you visit a page and you say, I want to use this offline, then you need to cache a bunch of files that might be used on other pages in the application. Yeah. So we have a way to say that here is the manifest for this application. Please fetch all these files okay. so I can use Gmail when I go offline. Okay. Another advantage is actually that if maybe in the future we will never go offline, but then it will still be good to fetch all those pages because it will be much faster. Much faster yeah. Because everything is available locally and you don't need to fetch files from the network. Okay. Uh, we also saw the presentation about uh, Internet Explorer 8. Right. Do you think it supports the new feature from HTML5 enough? Um, it doesn't add that many features and... and, and, <laughs> and, and <laughs> but, no, no, no. All right, yeah. Uh, and one of the things they did is they, for instance, for DOM storage, they, yeah, they implemented yeah. that. They extended it with two attributes and did the first beta actually had a completely different implementation of it from anyone else. It was, I'm not sure if this tells you much, but the, their implementation was asynchronous, okay. where the standard specifies that it should be synchronous, so it directly returns. Okay. Um, and so therefore, they implemented a completely incompatible. I'm not sure if they fixed this for beta too, so I can't really comment on that. But they did try to extend things in not really nice ways. Okay. But, okay. Yeah. And we'll you see. will still. But it's still. It's it's good that they're paying attention again. Yeah. I think it's it's nice. Yeah. They, yeah. they they are they are doing some good things. So just hash chains, for instance, is a it's a really nice feature. Okay. Like it, it lets you cache changes to the fragment identifier, so you can implement bookmarking and things in okay. Ajax applications more easily. What do you use yourself? Uh, I use Opera myself. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> of course, sorry. <laughs> no uh, you're, you're, going to you're going to look at uh, Internet Explorer 8 if it's sufficient and if it's good enough? Uh, yeah, one, once I get access to a Windows machine again, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure I will. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Have a nice time here. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. <laughs>